What is the Japan bubble? It's a nationwide financial economic phenomenon happened in Japan back in the 1980s. It's also known as the Japanese asset price bubble. It's related to some terms that you might have heard, such as currency war, monetary easing, credit expansion, and euphoria. So, how did it happen? Here's how. In the 1970s, Japan was very successful in its electronic industry. They even expanded their business into worldwide, dominating the global market of electronic products, such as pocket radio, recorder, and Walkman, which is nearly everything except CPU chip that was still dominated by the Americans. As it also acted as a major role in the video game market, Japan was crowned as a king of the global electronic industry. Due to the good economic environment, the living standard of the country rose to the top of the world. This period was called the economic miracle. The graph of economic growth looked so nice and strong. People were being very optimistic about the economy, making Japan in the emotion of euphoria, which started the trend of investing. In 1985, Americans were aware of their own currency being too high, which lowered their competitiveness. The Americans announced that they decided to interfere the currency market by signing the Plaza Accord with Germany, England, France, and Japan. Japanese yen started to increase its value in rocket speed, turning from one dollar to 220 yen to one dollar to 150 yen in a short period of time. The great change of exchange rate also led to American government bond deficit. Investors got panicked and left the American market and turned to Japan. A large amount of capital has flown to Japan's market to stay away from the crisis. And with the high rising yen value, the net export has fallen, which forced the Bank of Japan to use low interest rate policy and monetary easing. This action further stimulated the investing motivation in Japan, which triggered the formation of the bubble. Stock market and land value started to thrive. More investment were made, and with the people believing that land will not devalue, the sum of land price in only Tokyo can buy the whole terrain of America. Banks wanted to make more money, so they lent more money to people who own a piece of land. People in an institution had aggressive behavior without adequate risk management. The cycle has sustained for four years until it reaches the maximum point, which the land value cannot rise anymore. One day, the government realized that the country has a big asset bubble. They called the Bank of Japan to do something. The Bank of Japan decided to tighten the monetary policy, and not a while after. The bubble crashed. The Nikkei index fell from the vertex point to less than half of it in less than a year. The land value then followed to jump off the cliff together. Loans with credit to land that were given to people became bad loans, which seriously damaged the banking system and the economy in Japan. People became panic, and the motivation investing has gone. Everyone just wanted to withdraw themselves from the market. Companies either went bankruptcy or can just survive relying on government subsidy, becoming zombie companies. But for normal citizens, the amount of money they put into the market might already be more than the money they can earn throughout their lives. Family tragedy was resulted, and most of the people became losers in this economic event. The bursting of the bubble contributed to what it is called the lost decade. The Japanese government claimed to use about 10 years to recover the economy to the level before the bubble formed. So, what about the credit crisis in 2008? After the 2000 tech bubble and the 9/11 terrorist attack, and the fear of a massive recession, the Federal Reserve have lowered the interest rate to about one percent to maintain the economic development. However, the U.S. market are in a stage of secular stagnation. 
which mean its local market are almost saturated and could hardly develop anymore. Although with a low interest rate it is easy to get the capital for investment, there are hardly any profitable market. Except the real estate market, which is regarded as a market that never stopped growing. Investors start to invest on in real estate and it pushes up the price of real estate, which then further pushes price as people found it profitable and wanted to join the market too. A bubble is then formed on the real estate market. On the other hand, after the 1997 economic crisis, many Asian countries suffered a large-scale recession. In order to seek relief from IMF, they have to imply some harsh policy including increasing interest rate, open the market to foreign investment and also reduce government expenditure. As IMF seemed not to be a really good helper in case of financial crisis, many Asian countries decided to stock up a large reserve to make sure they have the ability to recover in financial crisis without seeking foreign help, and make them change from the borrower into lender of global capital. This capital flow into the Western market and later become part of the cost of the financial crisis. Despite the rising prices, housing is still a kind of necessities. In order to purchase their own property, people in US went to bank and borrow mortgages. At first, bank would only lend mortgage to people with a good credit. However, mortgage normally have a high interest rate. It is a profitable business to lend on mortgages. As to expand the return, banks started to lend on mortgages to people with poor credit. These mortgages are so-called subprime mortgage. As a return of bearing a high risk that the borrower would fail to pay the debt, these mortgages usually have a higher interest rate. It makes them more profitable and encourages the bank to lend on more subprime mortgage. On the other hand, in order to lend out more mortgages, the bank would organize and sell them to the stock market to clear its liability. These mortgages are then absorbed by the capital flow from the Asian countries and this dangerous financial structure spread it to the global market. In 2006, the property price started to fall which made investors who relied on flipping the property could no longer earn profit and failed to pay back the mortgages to borrow for investment. At the same time, the borrower for subprime mortgage, who actually do not have the ability to afford a property, started to fail to pay back the loan. The liability that is sold to the market then became worthless and returned to the bank that sold this liability. Suddenly, all this investment bent bear large liability and forced to bankrupt. The crisis outbreak. The crisis brought a large-scale recession to the global economy. Many people lose their property and bear huge debt. The investors around the world suffer huge losses. Many investment banks are forced to shut down. The recession in the US, which are one of the world's biggest importer, also reduced the import of foreign countries. After seeing how both of the events happen, we can conclude that humans always make the same mistake. Why? There are so many similarities between the cause of both events. First, both of the events were formed related to the overinvestment into the real estate market. Even till now, people still believe that the price of real estate will continuously rise. Everyone can gain from the market. But, seeing both of the events, the investment in the real estate formed bubble economy, and the risk is high. People also do aggressive and irrational investment when the market looks profitable. 
It is undoubtedly that humans are greedy. High-risk investments were made without adequate consideration, which resulted in market failure and a total loss in investors. In both of the events, once the market started to fall, all investors would become panic and quickly withdraw the capital from the market. People lost the race would pay all their money. Only a few can win. For the consequences, many companies and institutions went bankruptcy. Family tragedies occurred. Although the Japan bubble only affected Japan, while the crisis in 2008 affects nearly all over the world, many years were taken to recover the economy to the level in the past.